Elgin Today revisits the Veterans Day ceremony on November 11th at Veterans Memorial Park because Mayor Ed Schock and the City of Elgin made a special presentation on that day. I'm Sarah Sabo from the Gail Borden Public Library and on November 11th we were very honored to receive a proclamation from, the Mayor, from Mayor Schock from the City of Elgin in regards to our Veterans History Project. Um, at the Veterans Memorial, we received this proclamation for our work at the, um, for the Veterans History Project. And as you may know, we interviewed 20 veterans over the course of a year, and those veterans were interviewed by eighth grade students at the Elgin Academy. And at the Veterans Memorial on November 11th, um, one of the students that conducted the interviews, Charlie, was able to come and receive the award Gilmore with myself and my partner in the project, John Fleener. And we were very excited about that. And honored to be honored for that, for doing the work that we did, which was not hard work for us because we enjoyed it. When we started to, to think about working with veterans, I of course could interview veterans all the time, but what would be really great would be the intergenerational component, and so we really looked for um, the media aspect. We wanted to be able to film the interviews, not just audio record them, and we also wanted young people to do the interviews. So you had that nice intergenerational component as well as the high tech component. And so Elgin Academy, who is our neighbor, very close to the library, um, I made a phone call to their head of school, John Cooper, and uh, the first thing out of his mouth was yes, how can we help? So we had this great partnership. And for a year, um, veterans would meet us at 8 o'clock in the morning and be interviewed for an hour by a student and it would be filmed and then Mr. Fleener, their teacher, would take these interviews and um, edit them, add some music to them, put the, some photos th from, the own, the, from the veterans personal collections in their DVD so they had a very nice memento to go away with and the students had a very interesting experience. It was part of a larger grant called Tapestry of Freedom and we were very fortunate that Tapestry of Freedom was written into a larger program that went to the White House and um, the Gail Borden Public Library has been honored with the National Medal from the White House for the um, Institute of Museum and Library Services. So we're just again part of a very large program that we do here at the library of um, connecting with our, our citizens in Elgin and doing innovative programming. And Sarah, this also ended up in the Library of Congress, did it not for folks to go to? That's the ultimate location. It's the archive for this um, and that was the, the thrust of the Library of Congress um, Veterans History Project, American Folk Life Center, was that we were losing all of these stories. Um, of course, there are no living World War I veterans, but we have World War II veterans, and we need to hear their stories. And there are unique and wonderful individuals in our community that gave a lot for our country. And so we should be honoring them, and this is a way to do it. I just want to say that while you know, conducting these 20 interviews was great for the students and for the veteran. This program does have legs and we've been able to use the interviews in schools and for the second year in a row South Elgin High School has used it in their history curriculum on Veterans Day. They select five World War II veterans, they have their students view the interviews and then the students write to the veterans and so it continues. The, the, you know, the lasting effect has been what we have intended it to be.